published, 5.30 EDT, the 17th of April 2018, updated, 11.30 EDT, the 17th of April 2018 a British prostitute has lifted the lid on what it is like to work in one of the brothels operating illegally across the country. Louise, who has a diploma in marine biology, works in a brothel run by an ex-police detective named Carl from a two-bedroom flat in a Victorian residential block in the southeast of England. BBC broadcast to Victoria Derbyshire was granted exclusive access to the setup for a short documentary that aired on her show this morning. Footage shows how the brothel is operated as a professional business, complete with a receptionist and a booking system that avoids awkward run-ins between punters. Scroll down for video BBC broadcast to Victoria Derbyshire was granted exclusive access to a brothel in the southeast of England where she met Louise, pictured, one of the women who works there Louise poses for a daily photo that is uploaded to the brothel's Twitter account, allowing clients to see the women who are working that day. It operates out of a two-bedroom flat a receptionist, pictured from behind with Victoria Derbyshire is responsible for booking in clients for 30-minute, 45-minute or hour-long appointments in the diary, just seen prostitution is not wholly illegal in the UK but many activities surrounding it are, including keeping or managing a brothel. But 45-year-old Carl, a father of one, claims he operates in full knowledge of local authorities because he runs a tight ship apostrophe. Speaking candidly to Derbyshire, Louise explained how she turned to prostitution after trying a string of normal jobs to try and pay back thousands in student debt. She said, There is a really negative stereotype within society that makes people think women are doing this prostitution because they are funding a drug habit or are being coerced. But, I enjoy this kind of work. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't want to. Louise, who can have eight or nine appointments on a busy day, initially did out calls, where she visited clients at home or in other locations, but found herself worrying about her safety and keeping one eye on the exit. Broadcast to Victoria Derby she reveals how the kitchen cupboards are stocked with supplies for the women and their clients, including nappy bags, pictured, for used condoms speaking in one of the two bedrooms where clients are seen. Louise explains the sex is simply a transactional behavior and that it's her job, adding, I do it because I want money it might not have been clean. It might not be the safest place because you don't know who else is there, she continued. By contrast, Carl's brothel offers a clean, monitored environment where punters are screened on their way in. Clients can book in for 30-minute, 45-minute or hour-long appointments. They are charged £70 for each half hour, of that the women take £45 and £25 goes to the brothel. There are usually three women working at any one time. Louise continued, it's sex that's transactional behavior. And that's my job. It's not sex with a boyfriend, or with a husband. This is work. I choose to do it because I want money and I want to earn a good wage. I think it's difficult for women to make money at a young age. I want to be financially secure and independent. A receptionist is responsible for booking the clients and allocating the two rooms available. The brothel does not allow drugs or alcohol and screens women before allowing them to work. She is careful to book the appointments in a way that avoids any awkward encounters between the punters. A shower and clean towels are available to both the woman and their client. The women also have access to a kitchen stocked with all the essentials for such a service, including skin wipes, oils and disposable bags for used condoms. Speaking to Derbyshire, Carl explained the type of customer has changed in the 15 years since he started the business. Brothel owner Carl, a father of one, pictured with Victoria Derbyshire, explained the steps he took to run a tight ship and ensure the women's safety clients were probably 40 plus, the sort of client you might expect, now there is no stereotype. They can be 18 to 80. Carl added that he also does not allow drugs or alcohol and is prepared to act if they believe one of the women has been trafficked or is being placed under duress.
he revealed that in the time he has been running the brothel he has twice phoned the police to report women who he believed to be at risk. Asked about his relationship with the police, Carl added, We've got a good working relationship with police. They know we run a tight ship. Prostitution is not wholly illegal in the UK, but many activities surrounding it are deemed unlawful, including keeping or managing a brothel. According to the law, one prostitute may work from an indoor premises but if there are two or more prostitutes the place is considered a brothel and it is an offence. The owner of Louise's brothel, Carl, says he operates in full knowledge of the authorities, and claims they are willing to let him continue as long as the women are in a safe environment. It is thought that some councils will turn a blind eye to a parlour to help keep sex workers off the street. The BBC's Victoria Derbyshire programme is on weekdays between 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock on BBC Two and the BBC News Channel.